Hello my crafty peeps, this is Kelly with a tiny bit of this. Today I'm going to share with you a fix or a temporary fix to an issue that I had come across with one of my files. I had created this file right here in Cricut Design Space on my iPad. However, I needed these brown uh, pieces to be cut out on my with my computer, so I needed to bring up the project in Cricut Design Space on my computer. So I opened it up and I want to customize a few of the pieces and I went to hit customize. And as you can see they're dropping in my images because you can see them where you can see where it says sliced result, square, sliced result, blah 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 all the way down on the right hand side column of my uh, in Cricut Design Space, but you don't see them anywhere on the mat. Now sometimes they may be way down or over, not exactly create it right here where you would see. So you would have to kind of go and hit the down button to as low as you can go just to see if there's somewhere that you don't see. And I don't believe that I had created them somewhere in the thousand on my mat. They were definitely created within the first 30 inches, I guess, of my mat, of my canvas right here. So I said, I know they're here and they show up here. So I clicked on one of them and I realized, oh, there it is. It outlined the entire image, but it's not showing what the image is. So I clicked on another one. There we go. Clicked on another one. There we go. Clicked on another. And I just kept doing this thinking, okay, well, they're there. They're just not showing up. So is there a way that I can have them show up so I could view them? This problem I have researched. No one ever seems to share a, a fix. And I guess maybe this has happened to you and you decided, oh, I guess I have to start all over again because my project isn't here. But you don't have to start all over. In order to be able to view on your mat your cuts, there are a few things that you could do. The first thing is, okay, I'm going to start up at the top on my mat, on my, <clears throat> in my list. So this one comes up. This one is showing a lock unlock section. It's showing the delete section. It's so showing a rotate button and a stretch. Now, I don't want to change this. I just want to see it for right now. So I really don't want to stretch it. Uh, I really don't want to rotate it. Let's try just unlocking it. That didn't do anything. Let's try locking it back up. It still didn't do anything. If I just touch this rotate button without rotating it, will it do something? Yes, it brought my image back. So if I go down to the next one, I can see that my size button is completely gone now on this one. Don't know why. My delete button, rotate and stretch. If I hit just the stretch without actually stretching, let's see if it appears. And it does. So you can hit either one of those buttons without actually changing anything for them to appear back. Let's click on my next one. Again, I don't have this option, but I wonder if I can actually change it from here and it would appear. So I'm up here at the top where it has this lock or unlock key. And I'm just going to keep it locked. Let's go up in size and it brought it back, but I don't want it up in size. So I'm going to go back down in size and now I'm back where I was. So my image stays there. That takes more steps. So that wouldn't be one that I would do, especially if you have a gazillion images on your, in your project. So if I go to the next one, I'm just going to move over just a little bit. Look, my lock and unlock. I have no idea why some of these are working and some aren't. But there is my lock key. I wonder if I just tap on that and then go back. It did not bring it back. I'm not sure if I tried that on that one, but that does not work. The other way that I found that you could do is over here on this panel, you could just hit the, um, the uh, hide key. So I'm going to hide it and bring it back and my image comes back. So if I click on the next one and I hide it and I click on again and my image shows up. 
next one hide unhide image comes back so this I find is the easiest way to do it So I have a few more cuts to go, so I just want to go over some of the other ways of doing this. You can, okay, I already know this whole file. So I know that there's a piece right here. I think, yeah, pretty sure there's a piece right here. So if I just click on that area, it's going to highlight it. I can go over here and hide it and bring it back. And then it keeps my image on the, on the canvas. If you're not sure of exactly where some of the items are, you can do this. You can kind of go up into the corner and stretch down. And it actually highlighted two of them. So you can hide on, I mean, hide and then unhide, hide and then unhide, and there are the two items. Um, I think that there's one right here. Hide and unhide. Uh, let's see if there's anything over here. Okay, so there's two more images. I'm going to hide, unhide, hide, unhide. Um, I believe that was it over here. Nope. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe... Pretty sure that that was it. Okay, so now there are all my images, and now I can do my all, my editing from here, and continue with my project. This is again the only way that I found to bring back my images that seem to have disappeared, but not really disappeared. So I hope this was helpful. Give give me a like if you found this hype helpful. Share it out with your social media so other people in Cricut Design Space. Who are having the same problem can have a quick fix for that. Thank you again for watching.